So all this month, we are celebrating King 5's 70th anniversary, taking a look back at the trailblazers of TV. The Northwest's first televised newscast debuted in 1951 on King 5. King 5's Gene Ennerson shows us the news team involved and how they handled a major story on the first week of the job. We had a news operation here before the, uh, any stations in San Francisco, which seems a little odd, doesn't it? Uh, that's why I was able to say that uh, I was the first uh, TV anchor man uh, west of Minneapolis and north of Los Angeles. Now it's time for page one of early edition, the newspaper of the air. 29-year-old Charles Herring is in the anchor seat on the September evening in 1951 when Channel 5 premieres a 15-minute nightly newscast. On the home front and economic development. Just three days later, Herring is covering Channel 5's first major news story, a 20,000-acre forest fire on the Olympic Peninsula. Right in the path of the flames was the little logging town of Forks, population 1,000. Its residents hurriedly evacuated their homes. Women and children fled down the highway in automobiles. The few women who stayed behind manned the Forks Telephone Company switchboard, answering calls from anxious relatives in other parts of the Northwest. King sends its entire news team to cover the fire, a photographer and herring. The plan was pretty simple. We had only two guys. We had no reporters except me. I, I was the reporter and news director and anchor man. Hello, everybody, from Auburn, Washington. With Herring's reports, viewers are given a front row seat to historic events in their own backyard and beyond. This is another part of the marketplace at Sukal Juma. On one assignment in Europe, Herring travels 20,000 miles in just 30 days. And 10 time zones from Seattle. Closer to home, he documents man's first successful swim across the Strait of Juan de Fuca and the maiden flight of America's first passenger jet, the Boeing 707. The takeoff was perfect on this historic first flight. That was a, a very exciting time. And again, the type of thing at the, at the moment you don't probably realize how significant it is, but that was the dawn of the passenger jet age right there. Again, a hush of expectancy fell over the crowd, but the big plane touched down as gracefully as a veteran of thousands of hours in the air. I love the way that was written. Oh, it's so boy. cool. Yeah, no, he really got sort of a front seat to history and yeah. getting to report all those Jeez. these events on his own. He was doing it all one on man his own, band, right? One man band, yeah. consummate. You know, he passed away in 2006, but obviously immortalized in mm -hmm. some of the old footage. That's just, just neat to look back. Yeah.